Hello everyone and welcome to the workbench, where for possibly the first time ever we sit under natural light, isn't it strange? I certainly know I feel strange here. Well, obviously we are here to do the roundup and review of this of last weekend's live stream. It went very well, I must say, where we got Kemptown named, final details done. Stroudly lamp fitted, head code discs, lamp irons on, real coal in the bunker. And she is, I must say, looking rather wonderful. Westinghouse pump lined as well, that was a um, fun job. Yes. See, so now we have the name Kemp Town on the side. These transfers from Precision Labels were very good. I do think the font is slightly off, the text seems a bit too thick, a bit too bold, but it is nonetheless very, very good, very easy to use. I think it could be more like how Hailsham's font is, would be an improvement. Either way, it's nice to have these products and at such an affordable price, so link in the description down below. And I will include the link to Ian's website for EB models for the number plates as well, as you can see here with the natural light on them. Those number plates are absolutely gorgeous. Could not be happier with them. So if you want to detail a terrier, just rename a new te one of the new Hornby or or um, Dapol Terriers. Then I totally advise getting the Phoenix labels transfers for the names and the number plates from EB models. But the number plates from EB models can be for any improved engine green Brighton loco, the, any number that you want. So yes, that went very well and was the sole focus of the stream. So that project's now come to a close. Which does mean for this week we need a new project. So, having had the wonderful gift of a new soldering iron, this week's project, we are going to start the South Eastern Finecast LBSC i3 kit. I must say it is a wonderful, wonderful kit. I have built one of these before, although that was the the wheels version with the older chassis. So it's a white metal locomotive kit, which you know that's that I've done the wheel, the wheels one before, which is the same body kit and is absolutely wonderful. We have Romford wheels for it and because it is the updated South Eastern Finecast one rather than the solid lump of white metal chassis that my other one has we do have an etched nickel silver chassis to build and I am quite looking forward to giving this a go seeing how well it all comes out so, so that will be beginning this on this Sunday's live stream, nine o'clock, right here on this channel. If you can make it, it would be wonderful to see you there. If not, obviously there shall be another one of these videos next week. In the meantime, though, I thought I'd show you something else I'm working on off camera. So I recently got a couple of locomotive bodies. They're three D printed. These are rejects and test prints from someone on RM Web, and I mean this one was completely bunged up with weight which I've had to take I've taken it all out because it was starting to bow I don't know if you can see that on the camera there is a slight bow in the side tanks so that is in need of repair however what I am doing with that is at the moment I am trialling some ideas for my own chassis designs 
This is obviously a couple of bits of plastic card stuck together at the minute. It's not the permanent chassis. It is me trying some designs. And this will be a 222 single driver tank engine. I do have all the wheels for it as well. So I'm hoping with a permanent chassis I can get this running. It has a problem being very, very light. So I'm going to have to explore ways of making it heavier. But that's certainly that's something I'm doing off camera. Once I have done that, I want to be doing the same thing for this. Because again, this is a reject print. It's not the greatest quality, but you, know, you can see it's got things like the buffer beam here around the entrance to the cab there but it is workable it could certainly be made into a decent locomotive so i intend on doing the same thing with this however i think in, you know once i've got the ideas sorted with the other one i will do i think i will do this one on camera with the repairs to the body and the chassis design and see what we can come up with so that should, in theory, have us covered for quite a while on stream. Along with, you know, there, there are some other projects we can work on as well. I've got more carriages that need doing, including I've got white metal carriages. I've got a white metal open wagon. So there's definitely stuff we can be getting on with for the time being. So for now, there's the end of this video. I hope to see some of you on. Sunday evening when we are live with the iFree kit. If not, thank you for tuning in. Please do like, comment and subscribe. It means the world to me, means the world to the channel. And I will see you next time. Keep being awesome.